Flat Earth for Life, pum pum. Pum 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 pum. Yeah, man, we all live on the same flat Earth. Not really. Oh, where do you live? I live on the globe. Sorry? I live on the globe. I, I, I didn't get that. Uh, well, I've got some evidence we went to space. And that we went to the moon. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. I would like to present my main piece of evidence in the side chat. Would you like to have a look, please, first? Yeah, go ahead. I just posted it. Okay, can you explain? Yes, so first of all, do you know what this is? Um, no, but from the looks of it, it's a badge and a watch. Yes, but not some random watch, though. This is a special watch. A very special, actually. This one traveled on the Apollo 13 mission. Are you aware about the Apollo 13 mission? Yes. Amazing. Do you see the small badge under it? Yes. All right, do you know what that is? Um, that's the Apollo 13. That's the one they made a Kevin Bacon movie out of. Thank you for the assistance. Uh, do you know what that small badge under it is? <laughs> do not tell me this guy uh, uh, thinks a stitched no, badge. No, let him. Let, let, let him. No, 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 no! Don't help him, man! Don't help him! Just let him go. Oh no, no! I'm, I'm doing is, it step by step. Content. Exactly. Okay, go on. So, but our host was about the, to help you. Yeah, the Kevin Bacon film. So go on. All right. Do you know what that small badge under the watch is? No. That's uh, specifically the Silver Snoopy Award, and it's basically an award from NASA Group for Excellence, which has contributed to important <laughs> fabricators of materials, watches, spaces, etc., that made an impact on space travel. Now, next to it is a badge. The badge represents the Apollo 13 space mission. So far, everybody can follow along? Any questions yes. so far? No. Just making sure. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, Rob. I hope, you're, Rob. I hope you're listening. We have someone more naive than you are. Mm -hmm. Do you know where this watch is located? No. Yes. This watch is exactly about two hour drive from my location. Uh, when I've seen this watch multiple times, this is currently in Beale, Switzerland, in the original Omega factory. Okay. All right, Omega is a producer. Now, how did Omega get possession of this watch? Um, <laughs> maybe they like bought it. <laughs> no. Actually, this watch was faulty. Is, it a, is that an, an Omega watch? Yeah, that's exactly an Omega Speedmaster well, Hatchelite Edition 321 watch. caliber. Yeah, they built the watch. That's how yes. that's how it came to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm so guessing it, if they built it, they would be able to get a hold of it. Actually, no. Most of the original watches, most Speedmasters, are still in possessions of the astronauts or in the possession of NASA, and one that has been stolen. Now, this particular model came back to the factory because there was a unique problem. It had Anybody moon dust you? in it? It had moon no. dust in the gears? No. The aliens on the moon stole the crystals from the Omega? Actually, there are no crystals in a mechanical watch. That's just plain so stupid. So what could, what could the problem be then, sir? Have you ever worked with gaskets? Eh, a little bit. All right. Do you know what not, happens to gaskets? Not industrially, no. Ah, okay. So, you know the knowledge. So, I'll simplify it as much as I can. I've so, what happens, some if you put a gasket, what happens if you put a gasket in a vacuum? Oh, Lord. So, the watch has a bad gasket, and that, this is proof that we're living on a water ball? Um, and I had evidence that we went to space and to the moon. That's your evidence. Okay, Rob, 
Someone well, please tell would you Rob like, we've uh, got... Would you like me to explain it further? Or you something, want to yeah, something a little yeah. more desperate, please. Yeah, please. Uh, Hoss, so, uh, he, he needs to explain if you put a it. Gasket, this is great. If you put a gasket in a vacuum, it tends to break in a lot of cases, unfortunately. So, actually, a lot of the original Speedmasters that went into space to the moon and so forward had gaskets issues. That's why it was sent forward. Now, how do we know how this is the case that the gaskets were affected by this element? Would you like to uh, know? One, one, one quick question. Um, did, did they wear this watch around their spacesuit so it was exposed to the vacuum? Actually, yes, multiple of those were born on the space. Multiple of them. Do, does the, uh, yes. does the Omega factory have a, have a vacuum that they test their gaskets in? Yes. Oh, okay, Actually, so I maybe, it, maybe the it wasn't the moon. moon, maybe it was the Omega factory, and they, and they said, here, how can we, how can we oh, apply to course, another group of people? I have evidence for that. How about watch? I how love about how you are not letting me finish it. that. So the watch it's was relaxed. sent back to Omega. Yeah, he's and they helping you, unfortunately. Out. And to, of course, double check it, because, hey, not all watchmakers are perfect, the watch was sent to four independent watchmakers, according as well to the watches of Switzerland. <laughs> the General Genta factory, if you know General Genta, I hope so. And they all conclude to the same thing. The watch traveled to four independent watchmakers, actually was sent to Rolex as well for an extra check, and also went to Longines, which was still in the time an independent brand. Actually, they found out in multiple watches, because they asked all the original Speedmasters that went to space, were sent in for a service, because a watch has to come into service every five years, and they found all similar problem on a major scale. Henceforth, we know the Speedmaster went to space. Cool story, bro. Oh, you have no counter, as expected. <laughs> 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 That's an I, easy W for the globe it's again. Okay. Yeah, Omega guy, I get it. It's fine. <laughs> um, uh, so you're coping. Do you have any counter evidence against that? No, I I suggested that perhaps they just <laughs> threw the uh, watches in the Omega factory vacuum. Oh, absolutely not. It was verified by four independent watchmakers. Oh, two wow. Major companies. That, that, that One sounds of like some watches of Switzerland. four independent watchmakers. Oh, Those sound like some real square dealing fellers. Yes, I, I, have a, I, have a, I have a question. What, what is the... F one, one, one more thing. What is the, 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 the issue of the watch again? What happened to the watch? Gasket what? problems. As yes, I good, bro. Okay, I have a yes. question. I have, no, I have actually, some, I, one second, one control. second. Hold on, one second, bro. I have a question about this. I, I, I have some Which watches. Is... Uh, I have also, uh, you know, coincidentally a watch from Switzerland. But I, uh, my question is, do, do any other watch except for the ones who went to space can ever have a gasket problem? Not in that particular crack in particular way, no. Gaskets <laughs> tend to wear off over time, of course. <laughs> And it was a specific silicone that was used on that specific models. Actually, if you want to see the original gaskets, you can travel to Beale in Switzerland and see the original gaskets that were replaced because <laughs> actually Omega has a great archive when it comes to that stuff. They didn't throw do, that do stuff they away. Make you, do they make you smoke that little piece of crack before they tell you the story? <laughs> Wow, this is your counter. You're really getting desperate. Yes, it is my counter. Eureka! It's uh, so funny, Flat Earth is seeing you guys cope. No, it's, your it's naivety. No, your I naivety. believe you. I'm bringing you evidence. Uh, yeah, I, 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 listen, you, you haven't brought any. You, you haven't brought any evidence. Brought You've evidence. just no. given us stories. Listen, I oh, want to see the data. Want to I want to see. Evidence. I want oh, to see yes, the. You can. can you stop talking so I can yes, ask a you question? Want data. You can actually see the watch itself specifically on file in the Omega Museum. All right, listen, guy. I want you to present the data. I don't want you to tell me where to go to get it. I want you to present it. If you're not going to present it, you'll stay on mute. Ah, uh, I love the copium. So, first of all, you can see the watch itself and the game. I'm not going <laughs> to do your homework. Show me the data. Show me the experimental vacuum data and show me the real data that's claimed to be. Yes, you can actually see the data on the Omega website itself. You're welcome. No, it show it to us. Bro. Post it in the chat. Go ahead. Uh, you want to experiment yourself, of course. 
This is your claim. Go ahead. You're presenting your evidence. If you don't have anything to present, just say so. Space, voila. So it was just story time. So, uh, Fun and right. so uh, uh, in listen, you actually the paper that was also sent made by uh, NASA as a first argumentation. So bad caskets. The Speedmaster guide. The burden. The burden no. is, of proof is on you. Go do the work. Present and us exactly what you want us to see. Okay. okay. You can read the problem about gaskets in the vacuum. You're welcome. So if you need some technical information, I'm sure we can get somebody in here to uh, give it even more. Original oh. gaskets. All right, good. Thank you for posting the documents. Where's the yes, data? You're welcome. It's in it. Where's the data? You can read. Show me the page, page number, and uh, table oh, numbers yes, would help. Uh, Old dude, there are many testimonies actually. A lot Speed of the master guy, uh, stop, stop, focus, focus. And the problem, you don't get just to talk through me, Speedmaster. Show me the data. Where on on this paper is the data? Well, you can read, can't you? Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm reading what you want me to read. So show me the data. Well, my friend, I gave you the argument. All right, so he's not going to show the data. He's just going to pitch papers and say, you read it and you interpret it the way you want because it says exactly what I'm saying and I've proven myself. Eh. Like, this, in what realm does this fly? Seriously, like, would you present this to your boss as like a finished product? Your boss wants you to, to present the data and you say, well, your boss, you can read through this paper and figure it out yourself. That's not how this works, my friend. Your claimed evidence is on trial, and you need to present it. And if you're not ready, that's okay. You can take your time. We will be here. We're not going anywhere. Do the people at Omega know you're doing this? Uh, I love the copium. So I gave the data. I gave the expert. <laughs> you didn't give anything. No, you did not both... give the data. You presented a paper that you're claiming data is in. I don't know that it's in there. I'm not going to spend the next 20 minutes digging through this to find something yeah, that may not I, even be in there. I have looked at the uh, the PDF and it's not in there. It's That's just why talking he's not about giving fields. it to us. Yeah, so he doesn't give us the data. He gives us the results, right? The conclusions but not the actual data that went. So we need two sets of data. We need what is claimed to have happened. And we also need the experimental data from the lab. Problem is it's just not in existence, I guess. Otherwise he would have posted it a long right. time ago instead of telling us that we're coping, even though that's projection in itself. Right. And the next step is he presents a NASA paper. Well, NASA, what verified this? This <laughs> NASA verified NASA. This is circular reasoning. So my next question after this would be, okay, you presented the data. Now, where's the validation, Speedmaster guy? You gave us circular reasoning here. We have the fox guarding the hen house. You have the principal agent problem. You're giving us evidence of NASA validating NASA. Doesn't work. You need it to find us an independent third party. Because yeah. right now, nobody can validate this. Nobody can validate that NASA did what they said they did. So you got two problems, Speedmaster guy. You not, you not only failed to produce data, but you failed to produce independently verifiable data. You gave us NASA validating NASA. Sorry. All right, I'm going to go. At least he gave us a good story. Yeah, that was a new one. Four yes. independent watchmakers. It sounds like a... <laughs> so, it's a very so much, specific yeah, yeah. crack in the watch and a specific crack in the watch is the reason it can only be coming from space because space makes a specific crack in the watch this crack doesn't work on the earth you only get that bad casket from space with the specific crack so there you go four people have uh, proven that this crack can only happen in a vacuum of space. It's okay, I blame it on lack of education. Bro, you, you're saying that we are coping, 
even though it's a uh, blatant or projection because you have been several times asked to just get to the point and provide the the you know the gravy but you're just as usual as every global does i think the last time a uh, global was challenged i asked him about the moon being upside down when viewed from different places on the earth and i asked him how he can verify it, can he post an experiment didn't do that he actually ran away so yeah hello hello ladies maybe maybe you want to do the same Run is away. It, isn't it funny? It, it's funny though that the mission where they didn't make it to the moon is where the the watch fails. Right. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to do a reverse search of this to see when. Uh, I'm wondering if some article has recently shown him this because that's a first. What? Someone else Wait. said hi. 